Good morning. Good morning. God bless you this Saturday morning. Sun is shining bright. Hallelujah. Pray God still in the land of the living. Pray God when you see this, it'll probably be Monday. I'm thinking. I don't know. It may be a day, but we, we'll see. We'll see. But still in the land of the living. Praise God. We praise God. So we 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 pray for we pray for all those that are hurting, going through, lost loved one. Hallelujah! Got the new last light. Praise God. Someone uh, involved in the shooting, and a little young child was shot. Praise God. Let, let, let me say this. Let me say this too. And we pray every night that God will protect. Praise God. We also pray this. I know you say, well, I don't do no shooting and, 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 and robbing and carjacking and you know. Shooting, shooting at each other and all that kind of stuff. I, I don't do that stuff. Okay. Good, great, well said. Listen to me. You got, look, get out from around the people, your peers that do that. Get out from around them. I don't care if they don't have Get out from around them. Don't hang with them. Because when the stuff go down, you right there in the midst. Don't hang with them. Don't roll with them. Get out from around them. You know they doing that stuff. Look, look, look. You know them. These folk contacted all that kind of stuff. Y'all know who they are. These folk robbing and shooting and shooting up places. Y'all know who they are. Y'all know who they are. Get out from around here. Let, let, let me say it. Yeah, I say it so often. Yeah, now try, try to talk with them to get them to stop doing that stuff. And that's how I pray every night. So that God turn the mind and turn the hearts of the people from doing that, that evil. All evil. And I pray is also to turn the minds in the heart and give us the wisdom to leave those people alone. For us to get out from around those people. Don't hang with those people. Don't hang with that crowd. Praise God. And if you don't have to go out, please do everything in your power. Don't go out at nighttime. Don't go to no place. Daytime, especially at night. Don't go to no place where a lot of guys is hanging out at the store. Don't you go there. Don't go there. Don't you go around no place where all you smell is blunt smoke. Drugs. That's all you smell. Get out around there. Get out around there. Get out around there. Praise God. If you don't have to, you don't get out at nighttime. Do all your stuff in the daytime. Praise God. If you work at night, getting off, you getting off late at work, uh, uh, late early in the morning, you, you got to crave to stop by Burger King or got to crave to stop at McDonald's, stop at the store, and pick something up. Don't you do it? Don't do it? Don't do it? 
Don't you do it. Go home. But we pray that God turn the mind of the evil one and that, and that give us will to get out around and leave the folks alone. Leave them alone. Yeah, try to talk to them and get them to change their evil way, but leave them alone. Don't, don't, don't get with them. Don't you be with them. Don't, don't get in a car with them. Don't hang out with them. All right. All right. Let's let get right to it. I want that. Uh, uh, what if Jesus came to our church? Would he be welcome? That question been asked. What if Jesus came to our church on Sunday morning? Would he be welcome? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What, 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 uh, 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 would he be rejected? What if he came out to the Sunday morning? Would you still do the same thing you're doing? Uh huh. Hallelujah. That question been that down through the year from time to time, and people have lied down through the year. The same thing will happen. Jesus went to the church. Jesus went to the temple. Jesus went to the synagogue. So it did happen. And what happened? They rejected him. The pastors, the leadership rejected Jesus, fought Jesus, had Jesus killed. The same thing will happen today. What if Jesus came to your church? You be to tell me Jesus go, Jesus go cover your church. Hallelujah. And, 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 and you gonna rise up with Jesus sitting in, in the midst, sitting on the pulpit. And you gonna rise up and say, bring all the tithes to the storehouse. Will a man rob God? You mean you're going to make a statement like that with Jesus in there? When Jesus said, I will have mercy, not sacrifice. But you're going to say, bring your tithe, your offer, your sacrifice. That what you're going to say? When Christ fulfilled the law. And you're going to still say, keep the law, tithe and offer and sacrifice. And God bless. <laughs> God bless, sister. Sister Rosie Simpson, I, I saw her on Facebook page, uh, Elder gave the title of her message. Her message was, the law won't save you. No part of the law save you. Sabbath day, tithe and all, and all that, no, they save you. It is not required. What Jesus said, what, 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 what Jesus said, yeah, he said, the apostles say what Jesus said. You fail for great, whoever you are, that justified by the law, Christ become no effect to you, and you still gonna say, God wants to tie it off. What Jesus said in the pulpit? Wow. You mean you gonna say, come so and see for your miracle? What Jesus said in the pulpit? You mean you gonna say ain't no battle without sin? We all got sin. Was Jesus sitting in the pulpit in your chair? You mean you gonna sit up and say, "Go here, preacher," and you gotta pay a registration fee. If you don't pay the registration fee, you can't go. Registration is required. Was Jesus sitting in the pulpit? You mean to tell me you going to say you got the greatest bishop in the world with Jesus in the pulpit? You mean to tell me you going to say nobody got no heaven to hell put you in? You mean to tell me you going to say judge ye not with Jesus in the pulpit? You mean you, you going to say, well, don't worry about works at all because we're not saved by works. Don't worry about works. 
With Jesus in the pulpit, you mean to tell me when Jesus sitting in the pulpit, when Jesus sitting in our church, hallelujah, tomorrow morning, hallelujah, Sunday morning, that is, when Jesus sitting in our church, you mean you, you actually going to let come out of your mouth. Ain't nobody put it. Ain't Lord of the put it. Ain't nobody got no head to head put it. We all need deliverance from something. When the deliverer is in your midst, you mean you're not going to be repenting in the midst of sin. You mean you're going to have all the call and tell folks, just believe, just, just believe he died wrong again. You ain't going to tell him to repent. With Jesus, in your turn, you mean tell me you're going to say, well, we all, well, I fail God every day, but God is faithful. With Jesus sitting in the pulpit, where Jesus came to our church, Listen, listen. <clears throat> he did come to our churches. And he's in our churches. I wrote the 14th chapter. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, okay. John. He is. I'm sorry, 15. Job 15. If you love me, keep my command. It, well, if you keep my commandment, you shall abide my love, even as I kept my father's commandment and abide his love. 13, 12. This is my commandment that you love one another as I love you. 14. Yeah, my friend, if you do whatever, whatsoever I command you. <clears throat> With Jesus sitting in the pulpit. Twenty, Jesus did. Jesus, Jesus did come to your church, and he in your church. Yes, he is. John fifteen twenty. Remember, remember the word that I said unto you: the same is no greater than the Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will persecute you, and if they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. I want something else. <clears throat> he that receiveth you, receiveth me. Jesus said, He that receiveth you, receiveth me. Matthew 10 falling. He, he did come. But you pay him no mind. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. Matthew 10 falling. Jesus said, He that receiveth you, receiveth me. And he that receiveth me, receive him that sent me. Praise God. You see that? You, you see that? He came to our church and he is our church through his servants. We have his spirit. We represent him. Jesus came down and said, it, 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 the Bible says he came to his own and his own received him not. That what it happened, you won't receive him. You will fight him. You will be a first class hypocrite. A lot of y'all didn't know y'all was hypocrites until the word of God came and y'all fought the word of God. 
the hypocrite, the one that fought the word of God, had Jesus killed. The hypocrite did. They fought the word of God. You fight the word of God, you are hypocrite. Uh -huh. With a robe on, with a Bible up on your own, with a purple shirt on, with a backward collar. You are a hypocrite with a long dress on. No makeup way itself. You are a hypocrite. Uh -huh. You reject the word of God. You are a hypocrite. God no. You reject the word. You fight the word. You are a hypocrite. That's what the hypocrites did. Well, hypocrites don't have a tear. They have a tear. They saw me. They, they saw me different. Uh, yeah, but hypocrite fought Jesus. You fight Jesus. You fight his word. You are a hypocrite. When he came to our check, the same thing happened then and it happened now. He came to his own and his own received him not. You say you're a Christian. He came to his own, all received him not. That's what would happen. Yeah, but it that received him. He gave the power to come to of God. But it's a remnant that received The majority, don't you know the majority of Israel was, was held bound? They didn't even go to the promised land. Do you know those that went to the promised land, the majority of them? No, one well, you hypocrites is crying in privacy. Read your Bible. They were so bad, Jesus said, I'm not going to do this for y'all's sake, but for my name's sake. The majority of Israel, the majority of God people, were a big bunch of hypocrites. <clears throat> Praise God. Now they're not God people. Because they weren't born again of water and spirit. They, they don't believe Jesus. They didn't repair what they said. See, now it's not by nationality now. It's not by Jew bloodline now. It's by water and spirit. It's by repent of your sin. It's by keeping his commandments. Uh-huh. Yes. That's what it's by now. Not by bloodline. He came out with churches. It'll be the same way. You'll put him out. You ignore him. But he's in our church because of his messages are among us. And you reject us. Thank you for viewing.